In this problem, we have an SAE 1015 steel which is subjected to a stress amplitude of 165 MPa. Our goal is to estimate life for mean stresses 0, 60 MPa tension and 60 MPa compression using the Volcker equation. And we will use gamma is equal to 0 0.735. From table 9.1, we have the information that sigma f prime is equal to 100, 1020 MPa and b is equal to minus 0 0.138. Let's also write the equations we will use. According to Baskin equation, we know that sigma AR will be equal to sigma F prime times 2 NF to the power of B. And according to Walker equation, sigma AR will be equal to sigma max to the power of 1 minus gamma times sigma a to the power of gamma. And we also know that sigma max is equal to the mean stress plus the stress amplitude. So now we can start. In part a, for mean stress is equal to zero, sigma max will be equal to sigma a and it is 165 MPa. So when we use the Walker equation, we will see that 165 to the power of 1 minus 0 0.735 times 165 to the power of 0 0.735 will be again equal to 165 MPa. Using Basquin equation, we will see that the number of cycles is equal to 270,207 and it is approximately 2.70 times 10 to the power of 5 cycles. Let's move to part B. For a mean stress, which is 60 MPa tension, sigma, sigma max will be equal to 165 plus 60, and it is 225 MPa. So when we substitute this value into Walker equation, we will obtain and this will be equal to 179.1 Again, we are using the Baskin equation. And we will obtain number of cycles as 148,948, which is approximately 1.49 times 10 to the power of five cycles. And finally, in part C, we will consider a sigma m, which is minus 60 MPa, because it is compression. So the sigma max will be equal to 165 minus 60, which is 105 MPa. And sigma ar will be, according to Walker equation, 
105 to the power of 1 minus gamma times 165 to the power of gamma. And this will be equal to 146.4 MPa. And the number of cycles becomes which is approximately 6.44 times 10 to the power of 5 cycles.